Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to our home. I'm going to continue on. It is day 10, so this should in theory be approximately the right uh, gravity to continue on with what we're doing. Uh, I'm going to start off by saying I'm going to add bentonite at this point. Uh, if you remember in the last episode I actually said that bentonite was supposed to be added then, but I'm trying something a little bit different. Uh, so the setup here is basically the same as it is before. Mix bentonite with 250 liters of warm water. Uh, so 250 milliliters, not liters, sorry. <laughs> it's a lot of water. Uh, give it a stir. It can be okay if there's a little bit of chunkiness in this, uh, but for the most part you want to get it mostly distributed. So I'm just going to fill this up with 250 milliliters of water and get this stirred. Warm water, by the way. Bentonite packet. So, Make sure to knock it onto the bottom so you don't get clay all over the floor. This is quite literally just sanitized clay. Uh, you don't really need to do anything special with it. Um, for anybody considering the fact that I'm going to be adding fluid to the wine, it is in fact going to lower the alcohol content. But I am okay with that. I'm only adding a little tiny bit of water, so it's not going to be a huge deal. If you want to have a look in the cup here, it actually looks disgusting. Uh, it almost looks like uh, kitty litter. So, I mean, if that's a put off for you, then you could skip this step. But I'm going to give it a good solid stir. I'm going to make sure that it is as best as I can properly distributed in this water. Okay, so be relatively careful opening this. You don't want to give it a good old stir. The uh, purpose of being really gentle and not letting it stir is that there's a whole bunch of dead yeast at the bottom of this bucket right now. Oh, let's get this open. Now, like I said, this one's properly sealed, so it might be a huge pain in the arse to open, as this one is. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. So the lid itself is fairly clean, but you can see that the foam did build up, uh, leave a residue on the sides of the bucket. Uh, and then settle back down, as I mentioned. Um, you can see there's a little bit of wood chips in there, uh, and it looks it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good, actually, surprisingly. Here comes our super fun part, the wine thief and hydrometer once again. So I'm just gonna give this a quick look. It does need a quick rinse, so we'll be right back. Alright, so we've rinsed this off. Uh, keep in mind, uh, this is actually still going to sit for another 8 days, so everything still has to be super sanitized. Uh, we're going to grab our wine thief. I'm going to set this in the sink because it dribbles. Real quick. Everybody remembers the name of the game. The better you suck, the better this goes. Looking like a pirate is not necessary, but it helps. Okay, so transfer. Boop, boop, boop. I'll show you this in just a second here. Just filling it up to a decent level. Ooh. I'm going to set this outside of the bucket this time. You don't actually want to put that back into the bucket and let it sit in there because you're going to stir up a bunch of stuff. So avoid doing that. Now, <clears throat> once again, we're going to take a reading, and this time we want it to be below 1 point, well, 01, which is way up at the top here, just below the 1.00. So, I'm going to drop this in here. Bink, bink. Now, <laughs> uh, it's actually at our final gravity level, approximately which is our 0.990. So we've actually gone pretty well. I may have had this slightly too warm when we started it and uh, gone a little too far, but that's actually okay because we actually just want to be below the, well, let me give the exact number that it specifies. Point zero. One zero. So that's the number that it specifies that you have to be below for this step. So 
Uh, if you're not at that stage, then you can let this sit for another day. Um, but I'm I'm prepared. <laughs> this should be a nice dry wine because it is it's pretty much ready now. Uh, but we still have to do the finding and everything like that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to put this into our actual carboy. Um, not going to put it back into the bucket because it's just gonna end up stirring stuff that doesn't need to be stirred. Uh, do, 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 do. Before I do that though, I'm going to grab the bentonite clay. Now, as I said before, it is quite literally just clay. <clears throat> and its purpose is to capture all the sediment that's going to be in this and keep it from coming across in all the different steps. So the next step that I'm going to do is being siphoning out of that and into the, uh, well, you can use the bucket again, but uh, I like to actually have another carboy ready, uh, personally, since I've got all this set up. So, just might be a little thick, it's not a problem. Just try not to get it too much on the top there. Super gross looking though, doing it for this step. If you don't get it all, that's not actually a problem. Again, this is just to capture grossness. Oh, that's just nasty looking though, doing it in here. I'm gonna stick with doing it in the first stage for the next batch. Uh, this is just gross. It's just, oh, oh God. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm gonna stop there. Oh, it's on the top. I'm gonna take a quick Ah, oh, don't, don't look at that, don't look at that. I'm gonna take a paper towel <laughs> and clean that up. It's just, it's so nasty looking. This is worse. But, oh, you right up my nose? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. The uh, bentonite clay is not good for the seal, so make sure to get that off of the top here. You're gonna have to put your airlock back on again. Uh, if you don't have uh, a hole cut in the top of this bucket at the same size as the opening here, then you might actually have to get another stopper. Uh, but the same airlock will work just fine, but the stopper sizes um, can differ between the holes, so make sure you get that covered. Okay, so. Wine. Oh. Super careful. Easy to spill. Bing, bam, boom, bada, bada, boom. Bada, boom. Okay. Now we are fully prepared to drain from here into here. Uh, I would recommend probably a more stable setup than the one I've got right now. Uh, but the general idea here is it's a lot easier to use the spigot than it is to siphon. Uh, I actually just siphon out from the carboy, but using the spigot's kind of ease of use for this step. So, just, as it were, turn. So it's not necessarily a good idea to tilt this, but I'm greedy. Uh, you'll get a little bit of extra more, extra more, a little more uh, sediment in the uh, secondary this way, but my spigot's a little high. So you should lose at least, I don't know, a glass of wine in the bottom of here. Uh, you don't want to try and squeeze out all the disgusting that's in here. Um, you're meant to lose a little bit. Uh, you're going to have, depending on the sizes that you're using, this is an oversized bucket and an oversized carboy. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that. You should have a little bit of extra space. Um, if you're using exactly sized, you should still have extra space in here. The point here is to actually add a finished wine to this afterwards that you like. Um, in my case, I have a bottle of finished wine off to the side here. It's my last bottle of red, just kind of sitting <laughs> on the shelf. Not in the best location, but I need it for this. So, uh, we are prepared. Woo! And that looks super gross. Uh, <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Airlock. So, gotta make sure that the water levels are appropriate in the airlock. 
so that should be fine. I can now take this, close this off, boop, 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 boop. get it out of the way, and boop. <laughs> Assuming that that stays, the uh, stage that we're at now is simply to wait another eight days. Uh, you're going to test the gravity of the remaining wine. Now, in this case, I think I'm actually at the final wine uh, gravity. So I'm basically just letting this sit for a little while before I move on to the next stage. I'm still going to give it the eight days. I don't really necessarily have to, but I'd like for all of the sediment that I just transferred across to properly settle uh, any of the bentonite clay that got stirred up in here should capture um, what I've done there. So, hopefully, everything should come out just fine. Thank you for watching.